Good afternoon, Miss Love. Is Mark Sway all ready for me? The meeting's been canceled. So what? Why don't you just let me debrief the child and I'll give you a statement in writing. You and I both know he doesn't know anything. I need to talk to this child. You know, we, we have a confirmed scent of fingerprints from inside Jerome Clifford's car. You know that? What are you going to do about that? Well, I think the big question is how did you obtain these fingerprints? We lifted one off the soda can from the hospital. And did you ask either Mark Sway or his mother before doing so? So you invaded the privacy of an 11-year-old child. Miss Love, we were just trying to obtain evidence. Evidence so. for what? So his prints are inside the car? You have absolutely no evidence that he was even close to Clifford. That kid's got a bruise on his left cheekbone. Yeah, we found a drop of blood on Clifford's ring. Not as tight. Well, let me guess. It's Mark Sway's blood type. That's right. And how did you obtain Mark Sway's blood type? From his brother's hospital admission records. And how did you obtain his brother's confidential hospital records? Now look here. Look no, right look here. here. You get anywhere close to my clients, and I'm going to sue you and the FBI for criminal violations. And I'm going to report you to the Board of Violations to the Board of Louisiana and Tennessee. And I'm going to haul your ass into court. You are playing big league hardball, Miss Love. I mean, we, we don't respond to threats. You know that. I'm curious, though. Does Mark's mother know that you've been institutionalized for drug and alcohol abuse? It was a treatment center. Yeah. Now you just close the door when you leave. Reggie, listen. And listen good. You've been practicing law for, what, two years? You're out of your depth here. We know more about your client's actions than you do. You're an amateur, Reggie. You're an amateur. And your client is in serious peril. Serious peril. I am not going to let you use this child to climb yourself into the governor's seat. You think you look good on TV? If you attempt to contact my client or his family again, I'm going to put little Mark Sway on primetime news. And you can tell everyone how you trampled the constitutional rights of an 11-year-old boy. And I got the tape to prove it. We... We will talk to that boy. We will talk to the boy. And you... You miss just one step, and I'll eat you alive. You know, women would be a lot easier to deal with if you could just fix them like cars. When you talk to a car, it doesn't talk back. It just listens. With women, it's just the opposite. What you drinking? Um, I'll just have what he's having, please. Hey, um, uh, there's another bar stool up there. I don't bite. <laughs> I'm not interested. What are you talking about? I said I'm not interested, not tonight, huh? Do you want to go play some pool? You any good? Well, there's only one way to find out, right? Uh, maybe another time. I'm Jessica Williams. My mom was Diane. Diane Williams? Does that name ring a bell at all? Mm. No, not really. Well, you're Leonard Johnson, right? What if I am? Well, if you're Leonard Johnson, then... I'm your daughter. Your mother was a clumsy bitch too, you know? And apparently she was right. It should never have come here. Hey, you know, maybe some of what you're saying is true. I mean, I didn't raise you. I was never in your life. 
You look like you turned out pretty good. I mean, you know, your mother did a really good job. I'm really not worth mowing. I'm doing you a favor. How about we just play a game of pool? Okay, I'll make you a deal. If you win, I go away. Okay? But if I win, then you come to my wedding. That is, if you've got the guts to do it. Okay, Jessica, you break. Okay, you got it. Did I wake you up? No, I couldn't sleep. Are you taking the medicine they gave you? Some of it. Meaning none of it? Let me see it. This is pain reliever. It's perfectly safe. There's a history of addiction in our family. <laughs> Baby. Don't tiptoe around it. I'm the family junkie. Recovering. And this isn't heroin. It's just a stronger form of Tylenol. Take it. You can't keep letting that bastard Jojo do this to you. Not now. My face hurts. How many times has he beaten you up? The ecstasy holes in my head. I, I, I can't even count that high. Stop it, Lexi. I've tried, okay? I've gone to counseling, I've gotten restraining orders, and I'm fine. And then? And then I get lonely. And he shows up and he tells me I'm beautiful and he'll do anything to get back with me. And it'll be different this time. And now it feels so good to fall in love again. Well, take it from your big sister. You're not in love with him. You're addicted to him. You might not have a dealer on speed dial, but your crap is just as destructive as mine. Shut up! It's how you knew about me. It really does take one to know one. Get out! You stood by me, Linda. I called you every name in the book when I got busted. But you had to do it. I'd have died if it wasn't for you. You saved me, now I'm gonna save you. How's that gonna save me? What is it? It's Jojo. <laughs> this is a joke. That's caro syrup and food dye, isn't it? Come on, you always have a sick sense of humor, but you couldn't. Not in cold blood. <laughs> Not my man. I love you. You don't know it now, but you will. When he's out of your veins, you'll know. <laughs>